You also worked with Sting, and I understand you're friends with him, and I've seen you on uh, Sting's religious show on YouTube there. Mm -hmm. uh, can you talk about your relationship with Sting? Very special relationship with Steve. He doesn't, uh, you know, not he hasn't allowed a lot of people to get close to him over the years. So he's just very, just a very private person, and I have nothing but total respect for that. And and again, I, I thought we had some good chemistry in the ring, uh, whether we were wrestling against each other or, or working with one another. Uh, I thought we had a very good uh, relationship, a prof for sure a professional relationship. And then uh, over the years, uh, uh, in fact, after, after I gave my life to Christ, she was one of the guys in Charlotte, North Carolina, that I, I shared my story with one night uh, before the matches. Uh, I had a lengthy opportunity to, to talk with him, about a half hour. And then... Uh, it was about three years later that I heard he had given his life to Christ, and then we kind of reconnected along the way uh, over the years. And then I have had the opportunity over a number of years to really just really kind of help him grow in that, men mentor and disciple and help him grow in that. And we became so close that uh, I would make several trips. He moved from California out to Texas. His brother actually uh, pioneered a church in, in Texas. And so I would go out there about once a quarter and spend two, three, four days with, with him and his, his, his family and just, uh, just pour into them, uh, spend quality time with them, and just create really what I feel is a, a very unique friendship and a very unique bond with, with Steve. And uh, that uh, still uh, strong to this day. I was just with him just in, uh, in Maine. I was just with him. So, yeah.